Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new clipping album, Mid City. Clippy, Clippy band, sounds good. Thank you for the support. Clipping is an LA hip hop trio. And it's an interesting collection of dudes, including Jonathan. He is one half of the DIY electro pop duo Captain Ahab, who actually have a pretty lengthy discography under their belts. Then there is William Hudson, who also goes by the name Rail, and under this pseudonym, he creates a lot of noisy, strange, ambient, vast soundscapes that are pretty textured. And then there is David Diggs, who is the lead MC in the group. And together they make some really weird head turning noise hop that will most definitely get a lot of comparisons to artists like Blackie as well as Death Grips. Now when I say that this group is noise hop or that they're making noise hop, I freaking mean it because a lot of the beats, a lot of the instrumentals on this new 14 track LP mixtape live up to the name clipping. Shots of harsh bone-crushing distortion, glitches, static. There are moments where stuff off of this LP reminds me of like Mersbaum, as well as maybe some more recent stuff from Tim Hecker, like on the track off of this LP, Guns Up, where you have these really kind of sad, apocalyptic chords peeking through all of this just it's, it's abrasive, and yet kind of minimal in a way too. I'm yet to actually hear hip hop that feels this abrasive and yet this minimal. Because even though this LP is pretty noisy at times, I don't find it to be incredibly dense or just really thick, overbearing in the way that Death Grips can sometimes be, or Blackie too. I feel like Mid City most of the time works in a world of simplicity. Like the song Mob To It, where the instrumental is like this very, very subtle, spacious beat with Gurgles of sub bass, lots of clicks, squelches, screeches of tones that pop up occasionally, but for the most part, the most busy thing throughout the entire track is the rapping, is the flow. And another track off of this LP, Loud, does get louder. It is pretty loud when these booming crashes of distortion fly in, but still, it's not like there are that many sounds in the instrumental, and it's not like they're happening all at once much of the time. The beats are really skeletal. They're not lush in, in any way. Even the song Bout That, which pretty much has the, I guess the most melodic and sweet chorus on this entire tape, which has the synthesizers that fly in, they have kind of an 80s sheen on them. That track too, like many others on here, still feels like a hamburger that was left out to just burn to a crisp on a grill in the summer sun. It's like a hockey puck. Certainly the rhythm is there, but it's not like you just want to bob your head to a lot of these beats, especially on tracks like Five, which you pretty much get this synthesized, weird, open soundscape, which Diggs is kind of rapping against at a tempo that he seems to be kind of rocking on his own. On the intro track, Diggs does his fastest flow that you're going to hear on the entire LP, and it is fast. I mean, he is spitting fire on this track. He has a nice articulate and just speedy flow when he wants to use it, and his bars are kind of interrupted occasionally by these shocking noise blasts. It's a standout on this record, not just because of how great his flow is, but because of how weird the song is structured. Another weird spot is the outro, which is this 11 minute track, which takes really the last two lyrics of the previous song, Get Money, and repeats them, loops them over and over and over for the entire duration of this very long freaking song that kind of takes up a fifth of the entire mixtape's runtime. It becomes no longer a phrase, but just kind of this sound that just gets washed with effects and becomes pretty just psychedelic. I think the only beats on this entire LP I didn't really care for are beats like on the track five, which just seem to meander with the synthesizers. A lot of the improvs that the synths were playing, I felt were kind of weak and amateurish. And as far as the song Mob To It goes, that beat for me is just maybe too too sparse to kind of keep my interest. However, I feel like the, the real weak point on this album consistently can kind of be Diggs when it comes to his lyrics. He comes off hardened, like he's got some kill or be killed kind of survival of the fittest mentality. And though like on the intro track, he can throw out a very fast, just merciless, relentless flow, 
oftentimes on this LP, he doesn't really go down that road. Maybe because of the lack of a strong backbeat in a lot of these rhythms, he tends to stick to some pretty basic, straightforward, head-bobbing flows that feel, I don't know, sometimes like swaggy. Still, he comes through with some pretty dark and, and, and eerie messages, like on the track Bout That, where he says, Littlest pup, figure he bigger enough to scrap for the meat with a rot eat in the street. There's some gritty stuff on here, but he'll also throw out these lines that I feel like are, you know, maybe a little too catchphrase-like, where he says, swag on lock real G shit. I do feel like this makes the album kind of accessible. I mean, maybe it's really the most accessible thing about it, but it does sometimes lead to some lyricism that I just don't care for, I think is absolutely boring. Like, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, say yeah! But the hedonism that can typically come out in some of these songs, especially at the start, does get a bit darker as the album continues forward, like on the song Get It, where Diggs is kind of describing this club-like atmosphere with pussy and asses and money. But then he continues forward to say stuff like, you know, who's got kids at home? Don't say nothing. And comment how the club itself smells like ass. Or the song Bullshit, where he basically continues to sort of, with his lyrics, highlight and paint more pictures of very expensive things, party atmospheres, but the hook, which sounds exactly like something The weekend would put out there with the vocals and with the synthesizers and with the dark, murky bass, it pretty much says, yeah, this all of what you're hearing right now, all of these things we're describing, it's bullshit. There are tracks like this one where Diggs flow hits a good groove, it feels really rhythmic, but there are others on here where the verses, especially on the track Guns Up, where, I mean, it pretty much feels like he's delivering some spoken word. The song's story comes off really stone cold as well in terms of his flow and, and the things he's saying too. And the story that he's telling involves this car crash and this death and a police officer who's kind of shaken by having come across this accident. He's also a recovering alcoholic, conversation with a prostitute. It's, it's some pretty weird stuff. It's a solid tape and has a variety of different tracks of different emotions, accessibilities. And there are really only a few potholes on here where I typically feel like the lyrics could use maybe a bit more originality or a bit more darkness or a bit more experimentation or the instrumental, the beat, could just use a bit more color. I'm feeling about yeah. eight on this thing. I have been listening to it for the past few weeks. I just keep finding myself coming back to it. What did you think of this LP if you've given it a listen? Did you love it, hate it, why? What do you think I should review next? And um, yeah, that's it. Clipping. Mid-City, forever.